Welcome to Flash Tutorial 7B. It's titled You Win. It's a follow-up to Flash Tutorial 7A which was done a long time ago, many months ago, called the Locking Jigsaw Puzzle. And I had some requests to to do a follow-up and this is that follow-up. I have opened on my stage now that Flash Tutorial 7A the locking jigsaw puzzle. Start by locking all the layers. Select this border. If you still have this border layer, you may have this one removed. Select the highest layer you have under the action script layer. Insert a layer and call it win. This is the layer that wins. Select the second frame of that layer and insert a blank keyframe. Open up your library panel. Come down here where it says new symbol. You might not be able to see the new symbol, but right there, this corner, click it. And make sure movie clip is selected. And call it you win. Y O U W I N underscore M C. Okay, now we're inside that you win movie clip. It says right here you win. Call this the text, T-E-X-T -E layer, and select that first frame of that text box. Open that library panel again. Come down here where you made that new symbol. Click on that again. Movie clip, and just win this time. W-I-N underscore M-C. Win movie clip. Okay, there it is there. Now we're inside this win movie clip. Pick up your text tool. I've got red for my color. It's the fill color we want. And make a text box. Open your properties panel. Make sure you have classic text selected from this drop down menu. Make sure you have static text selected. I have Lucida Calligraphic selected as my family type. If you can't see that, it's under this character. See that? And I have red. Red is what I picked. You can change it if you want. And 80 points. And we got to now go back to here and type in U Y O U space W I N. You win. And that's inside of this movie clip win. Click on this. Drag it one spot over like that. Go up to about frame eight. Insert a keyframe. Go up to frame 15 ish. Insert a keyframe. And go from here all the way up to there and clear the frames. Don't remove them, just clear them. So I have that going on. Label this layer text T E X T. Lock that layer. Insert a new layer. Call it Action Script AS. Select frame one of that actions layer. Open your actions panel and put a stop. S T O P. Open close bracket semicolon. Go back to that timeline. Come up to here. This last whatever last frame you have. Insert a blank keyframe. Open your actions panel. G O T O, all small, capital A N D, capital P L A Y, open bracket, two, close bracket, semicolon. So this is going to tell us to go back to frame two. So we're going to sit here on frame one, and eventually we're going to go to hold to go to frame two, and this will repeat in the flash you win, you win, you win. Let's go back to the library and pick up this you win movie clip double click on it and this is frame one we're back on this you win movie clip and i have this layer called text i'm going to insert a second frame insert a blank keyframe and on that blank keyframe open your library panel and drag in that win movie clip now we're just seeing a dot because there was nothing on that frame that frame one 
that's why we're just seeing a dot lock that layer insert a layer select frame one of that layer call this action script first of all AS select frame one and put in a stop S T O P open close bracket semicolon go back to scene one and on this win layer select that second frame open your library panel and drag in this you win movie clip now there's nothing on it because we have a movie clip inside of it which has the first frame blank go to this action layer here open the actions panel select the very top enter in a line use your arrow key to move up one and put a stop here stop open close bracket semicolon so we're stopping on this frame until something takes place select the front of this stop on this action panel press enter move up with your arrow key keys and type in this type 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 var very that's small var it turns purple space p i e c e 1 colon number as you start to spell it it'll come up a drop up menu and you can just say enter when you see the word number but it'll turn blue equals zero semicolon copy that paste it here here and here paste it three times and change the one to a two then change it to a three and a four so we have four variables that we're going to work with and these are going to keep track every time we put a piece in place let's come down to where we put the first piece right here where the first target hits enter here and type in this code type 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 piece one that's that variable one of those variables just made equals one semicolon copy that move down to where we're doing target two right here enter paste in that what we just copied and change this to piece two come down to the next if target select here enter paste it in change it to a three and finally this last piece enter paste it to a there and make it a four now if you have more than four pieces naturally you're going to need more variables but just keep them sequenced sequenced the same numbers and naturally you're going to add them to all your your pieces for each piece you have so if you've got 10 pieces you're going to have 10 piece underscore movie clips and you're going to have 10 piece equals one now at when you're down here and you got your last piece whatever your number is you should have two curly brackets you want to get in between them and now we're going to test we're going to do it another if so in here type 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 there's the curly bracket that was there and there's the other one that we're now sticking sticking this in between don't worry about this this is not being used we're saying if that turns purple open bracket piece one plus piece two plus piece three plus piece four again if you have five six seven and eight you have to add them in my case equals equals four so each piece has been made a one as they're put in place so this would be equal one this would be equal one this would be equal one one so if you've got ten pieces you're going to say equals equals ten when all the pieces are in place this statement will be true so after you have this equals equals four there's my close bracket there's my open curly bracket for my if inside of that curly brackets there's the closed curly bracket for my if but in between them I'm saying go to and stop small g small t capital A capital S that turns blue open bracket to close bracket semicolon so this is going to send us to the next frame and at the end you should have two closed curly brackets 
So when all the pieces are in place, we will jump to this frame. And this frame is going to contain that movie clip that says, you win. So we're going to need some action script in this second frame. So make sure all your layers are locked. Select frame two of the actions layer. Insert a blank keyframe. Open your actions panel and type, 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 type. The first thing we're going to type is, this is going to tell us to go to that movie clip that we made, the You Win movie clip. So, You Win, capital Y, capital W, underscore MC, period, go to and play, open bracket, frame two, close bracket, semicolon. Now, in order, we're going to make it that we can play this again. So that when we get here, we're going to say, we're going to make a button. It's going to be called the play again button. So right now we're putting the code in. Capital P-L-A-Y, capital A-G-A-I-N, underscore B-T-N, period. On press, this turns blue. Small O, capital P, equals function. Function turns purple. Open, close bracket. There's the open bracket for the function. Way down here is the close bracket for the function. I'm just going to put this trace in, in case something goes wrong. We'll at least know our button is working or not. T-R-A-C-E, that turns blue. Open bracket, quotation, any words you want, I'm saying again. Close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. And I'm taking those four pieces, those four, uh, not the puzzle pieces, but those variables. Piece one, I'm making it a zero. Piece two, I'm making it a zero. Piece three, I'm making it a zero. Piece four, zero. And again, if you've got five, six, seven, eight, you've got to make them all zero. So the easiest way is to type one copy it and paste and change the number make sure you have a semicolon at the end of each one and also in order to play again we have to go back to frame one so go to small g small t capital a capital s go to and stop open bracket one close bracket semicolon and our close curly bracket for our function copy this you win movie clip right click copy that word go down to back to my main timeline we dragged it in on this frame so unlock this frame for a minute or excuse me unlock this layer select this frame that's where we dragged that movie clip in there it is there so if I click on it pick up my selection tool highlight it open the properties panel there it is and paste in that for an instance name we wrote code we need an instance name Let's go back to that action script for a minute, this second frame, and I want to copy this name here. Right click, copy. Go back to the main timeline. Uh, make sure all your layers are locked. Select this win layer. Insert a layer. Call it again, as in play again, A-G-A-I-N. And second frame here, insert a blank keyframe. And we're going to make a little button here somewhere. Let's make this 25% or 50%. And select that frame number two. I'm going to keep my red for my fill and black for my stroke. Pick my rectangles up and put a s rectangle here. And I'm going to make a shortcut. Pick up some of my text tool. Pick up black for my text. Make a text box. And I kept the classic text, kept static text, kept the Lucida calligraphy and I dropped it down to nine points and made it black. And I'm going to type in here, click on it, type in here, P-L-A-Y, play. Whoops. I'm going to make that stage bigger so I can see what I'm working with here. P-L-A, play. Again, A-G-A-I-N. And I'm going to put a space in here, pick up my selection tool, and I should be able to fit that inside that box. Back to 100%. Pick up my selection tool, 
highlight that whole thing, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure you have button selected, and I think we can paste in that name. That's the name we're going to give it. That's the code we wrote. Close it. Open the properties panel. It's still selected if not highlighted and should say play again button here. Paste it in here. And I think this should work. Control test movie. I don't see any errors so far so good. Drag this piece in. Drag this one in this one it says you win and you can space them properly and when I press this it sends me back to this one here so I can do it over and over very good you can go back now and this take that trace out I think it's in here this trace just put two backslashes and you won't get that trace. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.